Okay, so by the time it's doing it, I'm going to do a quick what's in my dock. So, we have this talking clock, and it's no joke. It really talks. So, you want to hear it? Hear it. Time is 9.58 a.m. Hehe. <laughs> and you can put in your personal message here. So, let's see. I'm going to uh, change that to... Right, so let's test it. The time is 9.58 a.m. Oh, it can't really yell. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to switch it back to time is. Uh, time is. Time is 9.59 a.m. Okay, so we click on OK. And then I've got the very usual weather gadget that's uh, quite popular with Windows because it comes with Windows and then I have this network meter here uh, it's called it's called ISAT network meter I think so it's Dr. my father's name and it's the network here so <clears throat> we can even change the colors to fire and there are lots of colors green orange pink I like blue so I'm putting blue okay then I have this Gmail checker this is a really really useful gadget because it checks my mail for me and tells me if I have a new mail for example if I get a new mail <coughs> it's it tells me by making a sound a big sound a really big sound okay so I have all of these messages right here uh, I think I earned four new subscribers thanks to technology enforcer the time is 10 o'clock a.m. oh yeah I forgot to tell it it tells you uh, the time in every hour so at 11 o'clock a.m. it's gonna tell you this 11 o'clock so thanks to technology enforcers uh, horse fools Tony Gwyn TV and Ox Kathy Ox for subscribing to me and you're really lucky that you're subscribing to me at this time because you're getting a shout out here so please people check them out I think they're good people uh, I'll check them out as well and I'll pause the video till then alright so I'm back after an hour but um, it didn't take an hour to install it because um, uh, I paused it for half an hour it's important, important work to do so basically it's taken half an hour to install it which is good for an operating system alright it finished installing and it uh, rebooted automatically and it saves me to boot from which one so I'm gonna go ahead and select Ubuntu and click on enter and again it's gonna ask me now this is where you get imp uh, important you want, if you're selecting for the first time you're gonna select the first one if you want to recover second one and uh, this is of course Windows XP so I'm going to select the first one and click on enter and of course it's going to boot up normally and actually this is not normal this is weird actually a bunch of code here alright let's see if it boots alright so we, here we have our boot screen for Ubuntu and it's simple yet elegant it glows if you look really closely here it's glowing if you're on full screen, you'll see that it's glowing. Uh, maybe I can switch to full screen here. Uh, resolution's not very good, but still. Uh, there you go. Uh, this booting may take a long time for the first boot. Subsequent boots will be hopefully faster. Alright, so here we have a login screen. And it's a progress bar. It looks so beautiful there. Alright, so we'll wait here. Okay, so it hangs here, but that means it's doing something here. Alright, so... I think it's making up my account. So, I'll let it do that. And, uh, there you go, you have your... Uh, busy icon, I think. There's, it's called busy icon, I think. So. so, it's running. And there we have our cursor. I'm going inside this cursor. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll go inside this virtual machine. There you go. I can move the cursor on there. And um, there you go. We have a nice looking. Alright, so we have a nice looking login screen. And let me double click on this when I'm black. I can input the password. Alright, so here we have our password in there. And uh, it's preparing my desktop. So I'll take out the mouse from there for this moment. 
and you can see it's 11.17 here but it didn't take that much time to install because I had to pause it in a moment for a moment uh, because I had some uh, important work to do so I had to pause it but it take, took around uh, half an hour to install Ubuntu which is not bad alright so I think we're done I think we're done halfway alright so here we have our nice looking desktop and uh, there you go you have success so what I'll do is I'll go over to full screen and uh, maybe I can tweak it a little bit um, yeah that's it that's how you install Ubuntu you are ready alright so for graphics you can have all these things here accessories games now I'm not gonna show you ex exactly how um, you know uh, how to use it because uh, I'm not really sure of it myself but maybe maybe I will show you a tutorial to install those G desklets because um they look they look good pretty good all right so G desklets are actually I don't remember if I told you they're these gadgets in Windows and I think they're called widgets in Mac OS X so here you have a nice collection of backgrounds there all right so you can choose whichever one you want right you have your half fonts interface and the visual effects okay so you change that to normal okay so because it's a different resolution it's difficult for me to control that all right so search for drivers and success you have successfully installed Ubuntu and it took about half an hour to do that not a bad deal so yeah that's pretty much it that's all I want to show you and uh, yeah that's it alright so I probably don't have my graphics card enabled in that so I can't do that but uh, yeah that's how you install um, Ubuntu OS X and it's so easy you can easily uninstall it by going to uh, control panel not here in the Windows XP here so uh, let's, I'll just quickly show it to switch off you can just select this one and click on shut down but I'm just going to click on restart because I'm going to load up XP so I'll hit restart here and the best thing is you can even cancel the restarting process uh, whoa what this okay so now you have a dual boot on XP and Ubuntu so be careful which one you select alright so I'm gonna show you how to uninstall Ubuntu if you want to alright so what I'll do actually is I'll install Ubuntu on this virtual computer so much faster alright so we select uh, Windows XP here enter and let Windows XP load up alright alright so here we have our Windows XP boot screen and uh, alright wait I'll wait and I'll probably go to full screen for that so you can see my computer booting alright so here we have a welcome screen and we have XP back alright so what, are, what do you want to do to uninstall it are <coughs> alright so I'll quickly just adjust those in a moment so we go over to 1024 by 768 pixels all right yes and um, all right so here we have to uninstall so we're going to start control panel and just like you remove uh, actually I'll switch to the classic view and go over to add remove programs and just like you install software you can install Ubuntu it's really easy to install it, uninstall it so here we have our Ubuntu and if we click on remove we can actually remove it alright so maybe I'll show you alright so here we have the uninstall it and there you go uninstalling it is much much less much less time consuming and much simpler and uh, yeah that's it that's all I want to show you hope you enjoyed the video please comment rate and subscribe and Arshay, come, come and like and subscribe if you like the video. And thanks for watching once again.